Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's the King Russell 007. Today I have a bag full of vintage cars, which I bought in my Value Village store. So today we're gonna open up these bags and see what's inside. Every week I go to my Value Village store, and trust me, I found some pretty dope stuff inside those little bags of cars. A lot of vintage models, um, all wheels, matchbox, majorette, corgi, and even some play art. So today we're gonna crack open those bags. And see what I got. Let's start with the first one. So, first car of the day is the Lotus Esprit 007 from the movie uh, The Spy Who Loved Me. And this is the uh, submarine version of the Lotus Esprit. It has a 007 uh, stickers on it, still intact. Little wheels. Next up, uh, what we this guy? Matchbox Superfast, made in land, England. No name on this guy. Some pretty dope license plate over here. Or a weird sticker. Corey Junior, Binzarini Manta, like a kind of purple color. This one's a classic, Go 57 Chevy from Hot Wheels with the black wall tires. 1976 Hong Kong Bays. Oh, we have a majorette here. Looks like a BMW. Unfortunately, missing a door. Uh, made in France, BMW Turbo. With nice gun wing doors. And the last one is the Bertone. Runabout Barchetta. All metal cars. Okay, sorry for the interruption, guys. My battery just died, so I have to replace it. So let's keep going with the bags. And what we got here? We have a. I think this is the first one I have for my collection. This is a Norev VW Amarok TDI. Oh, watch out, it's a diesel. The EPA will slap you in the in the face if you're driving this car in the US. Uh, looks like a Maisto Ford uh what the fuck man? Pontiac Firebird 1982. Nothing interesting here. May a Maisto school bus. Oh, this is interesting. A NYPD Crown Victoria from Real Toy. I think this is why I picked up this bag with the uh, Norev VW, and these are non-interesting Maestro cars. I already have these in the better condition, so I'm probably gonna sell them anyways. Uh, this one, a little Hot Wheel Woody. Looks like this one has been broken right over here. Yeah, the door is very loose. 1979 Hong Kong, orange uh, hood, orange fenders. Here we have a Simca 1308 opening uh, trunk, tow hooks and attach, intact, and Chrysler printed on the, um, well not printed but molded in, in front of the hood of this car, nice vehicle. Uh, next we have a dump truck uh, made in China. 1997 all metal car all metal truck excuse me still interesting corvette looks like a puke orange change color car 1975 hot wheels and last and not least for this bag a yatming it's like a uh, fire truck decals on it Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this back for the hand because I, I have a little surprise actually for you. Uh, Jesus. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Chevrolet Corvette C4 from Majorette. Opening doors. I have a red version of this car already, but I really like this orange one, so uh, 
just can't resist, especially in this condition. Uh, check it with the Dino delivery, all plastic. This is a Nissan Titan. Hot wheels. Nice color. Oh Jesus, what the heck? Look at this. It's like uh, stuck on the top of this base of this truck. Oh my goodness. I have to take a look of this one better. <laughs> I just can't. Ugh, I can't even take it apart. What the heck? And another interesting uh, fantasy car from Hot Wheels. Uh, back over here. And this one. Let's start with this one first. Hot Wheels Hoshkosh Semi Mixer. Nice condition. Man, not even scratch this baby. Wow. And uh, here we have a Zamboni. Wow, this thing is heavy. This vehicle also has rubber tires. Missing the uh, back thing in the back. This one's from the Carolina Hurricanes. Yeah, this thing is really heavy. And Matchbox uh, delivery truck. Missing a crate in the back. And this is why I picked up this bag. It's because of this uh, Majorette semi truck. You know, you guys know me. I love my semi truck, especially my Majorette ones. And uh, this one is in very nice condition. However, it's also missing the um, something on the top of this trailer. So I'm gonna have to check out my uh, online reference to see what was actually on the, the top of this uh, flatbed truck. Okay. Two last bags to go. This one's the same thing I picked up for the uh, the uh, weird trailer we're gonna see uh, in a few seconds here. Let's start with this one. This is a Matchbox school bus, Scholar Hauler. This first uh, name of this vehicle was actually a Field Tripper. Uh, Major Red Volvo truck. So yeah, there were a bunch of these trailers in the in the bag, so I picked them up. It was very uh, cheap, and uh, I kind of like the condition and the uh, overall details of these trailers. So this is why I picked them up. I don't know if it's gonna be compatible with my other 164 scale truck, but uh, I will find out in a few seconds. Another trailer. This one looks like a uh, train container. Looks like. Uh, what is this? Anyway. A piece of uh, styrofoam over here. So maybe this vehicle was uh, this trailer was attached to a tractor. So maybe not a semi truck, but still interesting. This was definitely yeah, attached to a tractor. And look at this, all metal stuff. Earl, nice. And this thing is very heavy too. Another other trailer. This is a uh, looks like a tanker container. The new Century. Express. Uh, Hot Wheels Pontiac Banshee from the 90s. Uh, stupid plastic vehicle, not, not interesting. Same thing for this one. Uh, looks like a piece of uh, wood over here. And another a weird looking old car made in China. So, probably not going to be very valuable. Uh, this one is a very nice find. This is the last bag I found when I was actually uh, attempt to leave the shop, and I was actually shocked to find a vehicle inside of this bag. This is definitely not the vehicle that we will be talking about. This is a it looks like a demolished stock car. Look at that. Looks like a kid having some fun with a hammer with this one. Uh, this is a major red flatbed truck. Looks like a Renault missing a wheel and missing a crate. Uh, weird looking fantasy hotel car from McDonald's. Another all wheel fantasy mall. This one's actually very nice. I think it's actually based on a Chevy truck with nice audio speakers in the back. And another uh, stupid uh, Chinese car. And this is the, the holy grail of my all, all my fans for today. 
This is, look at this boys and girls, 1967 Met Hill. This is a custom Mustang. Obviously very half shape, missing a hood. But uh, I was very surprised to find a red line car in this bag. And uh, the windows and the interior are actually in pretty good shape. Of course the real work for this guy will be the wheels, the body, and of course getting a replacing hood but uh, I think this one would be a very good candidate for a restoration so I would let you guys know if I go ahead and re restore this car but uh, very nice find for today Hot Wheels Redline Custom Mustang 1967 Mattel so that's it guys this is my middle haul video I hope you enjoy and I see you guys in the next stop motion videos